pick all of them. There's four. <coughs> Excuse me. Most of them have went for seeds for next season, which is great. Now, I did manage to get a watermelon this year. And I probably would have got more than one, but I cut the plant off at the top. Once the first one was formed, just to give it a chance. I don't think it's quite ready for eating. But when I felt it last night after watering the plants, uh, there's a bit of softness at the side of a bit of it, so we'll open it at the end and uh, have a wee taste. And that noise there that you've just heard, I will show you that in two seconds, is my um, pumpkin, which has absolutely demolished the plant pot it's sitting on. Oh dear, it's dripping off me. Right, there's another plant pot to sit this on. Well, it's absolutely smashed up. Wait a minute, I'll turn it on. Okay, that should have been a two-man job, that. Not a two-woman job. That way inclined. But uh, the ceramic pot, where are we? Can't see for the, the sun. The ceramic pot underneath, all I had to do was to cut the ties it's holding the stems up and slowly but gradually lower it down. It's almost ready actually. It's not the biggest one on the planet, but I like to grow something different every year. That is my something different this year. I mean, I've got two of them. The plant is still growing away. Uh, there you go, that's what it did to the pot. don't know if you can see that, can you? Yep, totally and utterly kafoofed it. There we go, it should be quite happy now. And I've got most of the dried bean pods and pea pods lifted. Just before I'm going to show you the melon. The alien that started off down here with my round courgette last night for the second time I had to cut back an absolute mountain of these leaves because it had grown and grown and grown as if you can see all the way around here and then actually it doubled back over on itself and started going all the way down the other end and was squashing um, the courgettes that were there so I managed to get a couple last night and uh, Hopefully, if you can see that guy, sorry, the sun is very, very strong. We now have room for it to move about. A few more dry seed pods to come off of there, but we'll get them another day. And there's some for picking, for eating. Oh, sweat's absolutely dripping off me, so excuse me, two wee minutes. Right, I'll go and see if I bring this meal out of the greenhouse where I put it last night. Right, so I really don't think, there we go here, I really don't think it's ready at all, but as I said, what was that last night, this wee bit here, seems a bit soft, so I've got no other option. But to cut this little baby open, and we'll see how we go on with it. If it's no good for eating or human consumption, so to speak, and uh, Hannibal the Cannibal does not like it, then the chickens will love it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I've got my wee knife, or my big knife, and let's get to cutting. Oh, look at that. What do you think of that, guys? Hmm? And me? It smells absolutely gorgeous. It smells ripe enough. There's a soft bit in here. It's a wee soft bit, but it's all right inside. So, we'll give this the taste test. Mmm. Lovely. 
own the name. Oh, Hannibal, this is lovely. Oh my god, it would be not the biggest one on the planet, but... Oh. The juice is absolutely ping ding a ling and off of that. Mmm. Mmm. Utterly gorgeous. Excuse the slops. Not a bit, Hannibal. Okay, son, I see. Good boy. Give you half of this, eh? Just in case you don't like it. Well, let's see, let's see, let's see. Impact. Did that. Impact. Impact. Ah, um, merci. Bisous. Thank you. Mmm. Love you, bud. Mmm. Oh, nice. Mmm, nom 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 nom. Get it then. Is that lovely? Oh, just Lucy. Mmm. Nom nom nom. Get the chomps. Oh, big scary, scary rope where you are. Not. Mmm. Bon appetit. Mon beau garçon, oh, there's a wee beastie, come, get that beastie away. Get that beastie away, trying to get your mirror. Oh, hey, Ma, you know something? This is pure, mmm, pure dead brilliant. I just love, love melon. To the chickens. Enjoy. As I say, not the biggest one, <laughs> but enough for everybody to have a slice. They're lovely. They love their melons. I absolutely love their melons. That's barely shop bought, ladies. Sure it is. Hey, not a ten times better than shop bought. Oh, pop, 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 pop. Oh, pop, pop. Look at the juice. Look at the absolute juice flying out of that. Chicky, like, 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 Oh, Bella chasing them all away. She wants it for herself. Look, watch this attack. Is she attacking you, girls? Just before I leave the chickens, I'll just show you the corner. Wasn't a wee like a linty. There's a solar. Where is it? Solar fan for the chickens. And we have one down in that corner as well. Same as Hannibal. Bon appetit. Yum yum yum. So there we go. Absolutely gorgeous. Must have been ready right enough for eating. Never mind a 10 from Len. It's a 20 from Hannibal. They have to be podded. Some of them are larger than I would expect for eating. So they will be getting like that. Along those lines will be getting dried out. And yet again another very large cause yet. And I had the same amount of this yesterday. And the same amount today, and just to let you know, these ones here are your marmond. Lovely, lovely tomatoes. That's a marmond as well. These ones here are Daniels that was cut from a slice from a shop bought tomato. And these are another shop bought tomato variety, probably the same. And these are our beautiful red pears, which I shall indeed be growing again. There we go guys, till the next video, au revoir, toodle pup, and bye bye.